We're back with another wonderful episode of the Bourbon Jamaican. Tonight we got the uh, Booker's 23 against the uh, 22. And of course, you know, we have Brady and Chris, AKA Drop It Nukes, capital D, capital N for Nukes. And we're gonna talk about some, some good stuff. Uh, we reviewed the 23 a couple weeks ago and we only did the shorts uh the video kind of lost voice or we had technical difficulties technical difficulties but hopefully this time we're able to finish up with the 2022 and give y'all something good uh there's a good it person out there that want to do an internship for the bourbon jamaican holla at us we need to get that audio back uh so you want to talk to us about this lineup yeah, so we uh, we just bonded the 2022 Booker's right before this, all four. The winner uh, was the Lumberyard match. Spoiler, sorry. Then, uh, like Sheldon said, the short got out, but not the videos. So the storyteller won for us. So we're bonding uh, batch two from 22 and batch four from 23 to see our favorite Booker's from the last couple years. So we don't know which glass is which, but we know what we're going to be tasting. So... And we're gonna see if our palates are alive. <laughs> Since we like we we voted both of them number one out of both. So yep. let let's without further So it, I don't know too much about uh the storyteller, but I did read online like uh when they pulled the barrels for the for the lumber yard, it was a rainy day and it, it reminded, you know, Booger No of of the Kentucky Derby. It was a, it was literally right before it. So that's a a lot of the color the color is reminiscent of of kind of like the horses and, and so i would i'm a big derby fan me and my wife we go to the derby every year and uh that's probably going to be what i drink at the derby this year more than likely or a, a little bit of what what was his favorite words that's a mighty fine batch mighty fine batch if one of the other is going to be there so this one was sweet bottoms up yeah, definitely real sweet, sweet. Silly. It's got some heat to it, but this is a storyteller. That's got top. that's got some really good flavor. Storyteller. <laughs> storyteller. I think you'll I think you'll Brady be surprised. Brady being a dragon. Yeah. I think it's. Look at all of this. They got great, great legs. I think Super it's super model uh, legs on there. I think it's Lumberyard. Yeah. I don't think. I think that one's. I'm getting that little fruit note. Mm. This one smelled a little more musty, a little like it's just oak and vanilla. You it's not as right. complex. I don't know. I gotta take a couple more sips and try to figure out which is which. Glass two is creamy. It's got some really thick, it's got like a vanilla custard to it, uh, but it's spicy on the back end. So I guess this is gonna be storyteller. I like it though. I like that lingering like spicy and vanilla mix. Yeah. Uh, so uh, on both of these, are they, uh, what's the, the proof level on these? Uh, the lumber yard is seven years, one month, and seven days. It's 124.8 proof. And the uh, storyteller, seven years, two months, 29 days, 127.8 proof. So it's three proof higher than the lumber yard. All right, so about MSRP, are they around the same or? Yeah, so I know they're a year apart, but like, you probably find the lumber yard now and about a buck thirty, I would guess, if you could find it in the store, being that it's aged over a year now. Yeah, in Northern Kentucky, Booker sits on the shelf cons consistently uh, for about one hundred and twenty bucks. Some of the older batches, they'll raise the price because they're harder to find. But yeah, like just a just a gauge price range. Um, I paid one one sixteen for the story, and and Brady picked that up from the distillery for us and uh, brought it home for me. And I found Pinkies. Um, I found Pinkies a few months ago, and I paid I paid one twenty plus tag for it here in Northern Kentucky. 
So you're going to find it anywhere from the range of about $100 to $130, depending on the year, the batch, and obviously the store that you're locating in. If you see it, any, any, any booker, in my opinion, I've drank all the last two years of it. I've had a couple different pours from other years as well. And um, if you're paying over $130 for it, it's not there. Uh, there's definitely a lot more better bottles out there than the... Uh, for 130 than these bookers. Um, if you can get it for less than $100, I'd say buy it. After 100 it's not worth it for me. I know, Chris, you like to buy them if they're like that 120 or less. It's it's just difficult for me to drop that kind of money on something that's seven years. If I can get a Knob Creek store pick that's nine years and 120 proof, I know it's gonna be eight proof, six, eight proof less, but you know it's guaranteed to be anywhere from two to four years older and it's, $50 to $60. All right, Ben. With that, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to elaborate and we'll come back with our thoughts. All right, we're back. We did some deliberation and some second tasting and trying to see if our palates are aligned. And uh, we'll let Brady start this one off. What is your number one? My first place. Is yellow, which is the storyteller. Yeah, storyteller. Chris picked the lumber yard, which lumber means yard. Sheldon and I agreed. But storyteller. I don't know about you, Sheldon, but personally, they weren't too far off. No, they weren't. It was difficult for me to pick a winner. They were they tasted completely different. I think it would be a mood thing for me. The lumber yard is a little bit is chocolatey and a little bit fruity, and that storyteller is really viscous, vanilla, creamy. They both have a little bit of spice to them. The lumber yard's a little more complex, but tonight I prefer the storyteller. The storyteller is a winner, hands down, because it it has everything. That's everything is is it's real flavorful. It has enough kick to it, and at the same time, it's kind of like a lingering taste. You get to enjoy it even after the sip. It just kind of hangs out in your mouth, and you can just still feel it going down. Coats uh, your gums. But, yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with either choice here, guys. Uh, you really can't. Um, as you can tell, I've really enjoyed this storyteller up to this point, and um, this is my first night drinking the Lumberyard. The Lumberyard just gives me a lot of vanilla. Uh, chocolatey and that, that's kind of what I'm looking for it as a dessert type of bourbon right and um, I definitely enjoyed the pour um, storyteller storyteller you can't go wrong either way it was definitely a close close one two for me but I'm I'm personally picking a lumber yard all right well there you have it we came we saw and the storyteller conquered so stay tuned for more. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. <laughs> Let us know if y'all have tried the storytelling and what y'all think about it. Thanks oh. for watching.